In this video, I'm going to solve a sample problem about torsion. Here is the problem. The aluminum rod AB with a modulus of rigidity of 27 gigapascal is bonded to the brass rod BD with a modulus of rigidity of 39 gigapascal. Knowing that portion CD of the brass rod is hollow and has an inner diameter of 48 millimeters, determine the angle of twist at point A, okay, at this point. Okay, so what we will do is to determine the internal, the resisting torque of each segment. No? Segment AB, um, segment BC, and segment CD. Okay. So, so we will cut a section at segment AB and then get the resisting torque. And then after that, we cut the section sa segment BC and then we get the resisting torque and then cut a section to segment CD and also get the resisting torque. Then after that, uh, we will know if it seems a lot of direction or not so that we can add or subtract the angle of twist for each segment. So for segment AB, since we only have this torque, TA 800 Newton meter, then to maintain equilibrium, AB will resist a torque opposite uh, 800, which is uh, counterclockwise, so it resists uh, on clockwise. This one. So this is, this is the resisting torque of a segment AB. It's 800 Newton meter. Same also for segment BC. Okay. Now, there are two applied torques, 800 and 1,600. Same direction, counterclockwise. So, it resists ya o torque na clockwise with a magnitude of 2,400. And then last, for segment CD, uh, still we have 800 and 1,600. So therefore, the resisting torque is also 2,400. And as we can see, the resisting torque of the three segments have the same direction. Therefore, we're going to add the angle of twist for each segment. So, recall the formula for angle of twist is TL over JG. And with all the given values, length for the polar moment of inertia, the diameters are given as well as the modulus of rigidity. So, yeah. For EB, the torque is 800. And... For consistency, and in order to have um, a unit of radiance, uh, torque must have a unit of Newton millimeters. Length will have a unit of millimeters. J, millimeters raised to 4. And G, uh, megapascal or Newton per millimeter squared. So para makancel ang units, for 800, meter will be converted to millimeters. That is why we have to multiply the value by 1,000. And the length of EB is 400. 400. And for a solid shaft, the polar moment of inertia is pi over 32, diameter raised to 4. And the diameter is 36 millimeters. And then the modulus of rigidity is 27 gigapascal. So we have to multiply the value by 1,000 para megapascal. So we have 27,000. 
and the unit is radian. So the value is 0 0.0719 radians. We do the same for segments BC and CD. <clears throat> for BC, the torque is 2,400 and then conversion factor from meters to millimeters. Length of 375. And then diameter of 60. Here, 60. And then modulus of rigidity of 39 gigapascal. Convert to megapascal, we have 39,000. Okay, the value is 0 0.0181 radians. And then lastly, for segment CD. For segment CD, since nine hollow part, the, uh, the polar moment of inertia is pi over 32. Outer diameter raised to 4 minus inner diameter raised to 4. The length is 250. 250. And the value is 0 0.0205 radians. So therefore, the angle of twist at point A is the sum of all the angle of twist for the three segments since ang directions are resist resisting torque is the same. So we add lang, we have this one, 0 0.1105 radians and then convert this one to degrees we multiply na to 180 degrees over pi. And the final answer is 6.33 degrees. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope that you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.